Welcome to Weddings Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. Here's your host, Angela Profit. Hi, y'all. This is Angela Profit, and thank you so much for joining me on Weddings Unveiled. Today, I'm so excited about bringing Gigi McDowell onto the show. Gigi is the founder and the CEO of Fetfully, and I'm not going to spoil anything for her because I want her to share with you guys what the platform is about. But before we jump in, I just want to say that Gigi and I have known each other for years. She had the opportunity to intern with us and we were on a show together on ABC Family called Job or No Job. And Gigi, I do want you to tell them a little bit about that. But I just want to say I'm so excited about this platform and how you have taken the market just by the neck. And you're like, I am going to do this platform and listen to the market. And it's amazing. So I'm super excited that if you've never heard of Fetfully, you're going to be hearing it a lot more in the industry. So Gigi, jump in and let our audience know, what is Fetfully? So Fetfully is kind of the answer to my headaches. When (laughs) I was planning and kind of starting my business, I moved to Oklahoma City and Everyone was frustrated with kind of the market and people weren't interested in paying for planning services. And it's what I love. So I had to figure out a way for me to continue to do what I love and continue to help brides. And so this was my pain medicine. And so it kind of started as just me finding a way to connect with users who wanted to use technology to plan their wedding and didn't really see the value in me, even though I knew that there's tremendous value in wedding planning. So Fetfully is just that. It's a tool for planners to kind of expand their business to users who wouldn't normally use them. They see all these pretty pictures and they have Pinterest and they see all the DIY things, but they don't really, um, they don't really know the value that having a planner adds to those photos and the things that go into making those photos pretty and come to life. So Fetfully is that a way for users to have their dream wedding and for planners to still use their experience and their knowledge to really impact um, couples and make their day everything they imagine. So just to clarify, this is all online, right? Yes, it's all online. The meetings, the file sharing, and I'm sure you love that because you're already paperless, but everything is online. So planners can literally throw on a nice shirt, sit at their kitchen table with their PJ bottoms on and chat with planners or chat with couples all over the country and just help them bring their days to life. That's amazing. So again, I think when I first heard about your idea and your concept, I wanted to make sure that, again, I love the word clarify and communicate, and especially in our industry, that you're not trying to take business away from planners or designers. It's more about expanding your business by listening to the marketplace. Because let's be honest, everybody that is now planning their wedding, they're addicted to their phones. They're constantly pinning things, at least most of my clients are. Mm -hmm. And so you're really just taking advice and guidance from the market, right? And just absolutely. That's the main goal of mine because I started as a planner. And so that's where my heart is. And so that's who I am at my core. And so the goal of this has always been to help businesses and to help planners profit on their downtime and the down season because wedding planning is very seasonal. But there Mm -hmm. are times when you can have work and generate income and really continue growing your business, even though you have no weddings that month or maybe for a few months. And so this was a way for me to do that. Um, And it really, the idea really sparked because I had a meeting with um, a bride and she was so excited about getting married. And so then I told her how much it would cost for me to help her. And she started crying. 
crying, crying, crying. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what have I done? And she's like, I really want to hire you, but I can't afford you. And I'm not going to, as much as I love you, I'm not going to choose to pay you rather than choose to feed my guests. And so it got to the point to where I'm like, that's not a unique experience. There are other people who are experiencing those things. And it's not that they don't want planners. It's they really can't afford it. And so how can I provide value to those people? And so I was kind of thinking over a weekend and I was like, why am I trying to force people to by me instead of creating something that they already want. And so that's what this was, just the answer to that in a way for it to not really just be something that only I was doing. This is something that planners all over can do. So why not take something that started as um, just a way for me to generate money in my downtime and expand it and grow it so planners everywhere can generate money in their uh, downtime too. Absolutely. I love it. Well, share with our listeners, like, what is your background? Because when I met you, I was very impressed that you had been working and you knew about True Colors. You'd been working in events and doing some weddings on the side, but share a little bit more about your background and like where you came from. Okay, so this is a very fun story that people love to hear, but I started with weddings and um just learning about weddings when I was six years old. And so oh <laughs> I um, learned about Brides Magazine somehow, some way, I'm not sure how. And I took my mom's credit card and I subscribed to Brides Magazine. So I was getting the magazine every month and my mom had no idea. I love so it. One day she gets her credit card statement and she's like, who has used my card to do this magazine? And so it took me a little bit of time to confess and I'm figuring out, okay, how do I break this to her? So I tell her, okay, mom, it was me. And she's asking, you're six years old. You're not getting married for like a hundred years. So (laughs) why are you subscribing to Brides Magazine? And so I just had to tell her, I love this. I love weddings. Um, I just love to flip through this and learn about things. And I remember like it was yesterday, it was the trend was like circles and they had like blue circles and purple circles. And I was like, Oh my gosh, this is so cool. But at six years old, I knew this was for me. And so she allowed me to keep getting the magazine and she poured into me. I attended like every wedding to, for any person that she knew, she really kind of helped develop that in me. And so at 13, I planned my first wedding. And then from there I did all types of events for school, for people at church. Um, I just did whatever I could to make sure I was planning a wedding or event. And then after um, college, for some reason, people started to tell me that wedding planning was not something that I could do and be successful and really retire on. And so I started believing, you know, you can't really believe those people in life. And I learned that the hard way, but I started believing them. And so I got a job in HR And I was miserable one year in and I was driving to my parking spot and the closer I was getting to my spot, I was just crying and crying and crying. And so I knew something had to change. And so that's when the TV show came around and that's when I met you. And so a year later, after working in Nashville with Angela, I started or continued to do my own business in Oklahoma City. And that's where Fitfully was born. That's amazing. I love those stories. I just, so how did you even learn about the TV show? And did you resign from your job when you were like, okay, I'm moving, like I'm doing this, I'm making a change? Like, how did you even hear about the show? Um, I heard about the show. I moved away and they had put flyers up on my college campus. And so there's a lady who did the Roe versus Wade case. I met her while I was in school and she said, it's not what you know, it's who knows what you know. And yeah. so everyone at school knew that I was the event planner and I graduated and the events at school had kind of gone downhill and everyone's like, what's going on? And they're like, Gigi left us. And so <laughs> Everyone at school knew I was the event planner. 
And they also knew that I moved back home and was no longer doing events. And so the casting directors were putting flyers all over college campuses and people were sending them to me. And it was like, find your dream job. And on the flyer was wedding planner. And so I probably got about five text messages with that flyer in it. And it was on the day that I was crying, going to my parking spot. Ah. I said, you know what? I'm going to take a shot. I sent like a very raw, transparent email. I hate my job and I don't want to be here anymore. (laughs) All I can do is wedding planning. And they called me. And so that's how that happened. (laughs) And just for people who are not familiar with TV, how would you describe your experience like in front of the camera and then behind the scenes of as far as like the emotional experience. Like oh what my can gosh. you share? <laughs> oh my gosh, what can I share? It is a roller coaster. It's the craziest time in your life, in my life. It is it is just that an emotional roller coaster, but it's not the kind that go like up and down. It's the kind that take you up, kind of like the Superman, and then they just drop you. And they do it over and over and over again. So by the time you get dropped like the 20th time, you're like a wreck. But it teaches you a lot about yourself. Um, it forces you to really get to know who you are and um, kind of see yourself the way the world is going to see you. So it was a learning experience. It was extremely emotional because it was something that I wanted so bad. And kind of all of my eggs were in this basket at that point because I knew at home I was going to be unhappy. So this was me finding kind of happiness in that moment. But I learned that you, you're you not really going to find happiness in the job. Happiness is something you create for yourself. But that's another story. Um, <laughs> different conversation. <laughs> yes, different conversation. But that was kind of what TV did for me. So in front of the cameras, I had already kind of put it in my mind, the person that I wanted the world to see. This happy girl who overcome all these experiences, but off the camera, I was going crazy because I didn't want to go back home. So eventually that came out on the show. And um, that's really what I can share about TV. (laughs) Yeah. And so, I mean, how was your experience like coming to Nashville? You knew no one. And for those of you who haven't seen Job or No Job, um, really the premises of the show is to help the person, there's a a hostess on there and she's driving them through these interview processes and uh, as far as questions go and like what to say and what not to say and like giving them guidance. And I mean, would you say Jane's like a interview coach on, on the show? She's like an interview coach. And then she also studies like millennial behavior, Mm -hmm. uh, which is extremely important in regards to that TV show, in regards to Fatfully, in regards to where the industry is going, just knowing where consumers are going. And so she studied millennials and she really told us and watched us on camera, this is what you're doing. This is what's not good. And the crazy thing is um, I came from HR. And so it wasn't the interviews that were getting me. It was um, me not being transparent enough with the interviewers that was really getting me. So I was a pretty good interviewer or interviewee, but yeah, she coached us through along the way. I had a lot of little hiccups with like wardrobe because I love clothes. And so (laughs) um, a lot of my help came from like, I need some tide wipes to wipe this stain off of this and (laughs) <laughs> things like that. But yes, yeah, she coached us along the way. And she's actually uh, one of our team members on Fifthly. So that's good. And that's exactly where I was going <laughs> with that. <laughs> um, so Gigi and I are the same color in true colors. And that is a methodology that I teach and love. And I'm such a nerd. I went to school for that exact thing. And the crazy thing is this is back to job or no job, our interviewer and our orange personality and the behind the scenes of it. We started talking about true color so much that they had to cut in and stop us from talking because we were only supposed to talk for maybe about 30 minutes, but it's getting to like an hour and Angela and I are just going back and forth about things we shouldn't really be talking about, but we just had an immediate connection. And so that's some more behind the scenes scoop that you won't see on TV. Yeah. And like, so Gigi, you 
I think interviewed three different planning companies yes. and then, um, and then it was ultimately like your decision, right? Right. As who you went with. And for us as a company, we only take one intern at once because it is very time consuming to make sure that I'm investing enough time to teach and be a good leader. And then it also obviously takes time on the interns part. Some of our interns are still in school, but the ones that really get the most out of it are the ones that are doing it full time mm -hmm. and they're just kind of connected at the hip. <laughs> yes. So can you share like the top thing that you learned like through that internship and how it helped you launch Fetfully? Ooh, wee. Oh, the top thing. I don't know if I could pinpoint one thing that was the top. <laughs> I learned so much because I was one of the interns who was kind of adjoined at the, t at the hip. I went everywhere with you. And so mm -hmm. I learned everything. And so um, let's see. The top thing for me is really understanding your bride and knowing that while each person is unique, they do, our minds do kind of work the same way in a way. I may react to things different or maybe say things differently, but at the end of the day, the true colors matter. And you can know and plan for your bride and your couples based on that, based on knowing, okay, when I go into this meeting, I know uh, the groom is going to want to hear the numbers. And I know she is going to want to see the colors and to see the sparkle. And so really learning that and watching you use uh, that method in your planning sessions and when you were preparing floor plans and all of those things, it really kind of led me into, um, Fifthly. it was like the perfect experience for me to learn how to re how the market and how couples were receiving me. And so taking that to Oklahoma City and being able to listen to the brides and say, okay, well, this girl is a little bit orange like me. So what can I do on her budget and how can I do this? Just really um, analyzing that and using those true colors to uh, get to know people um, in a different way and provide a service for people in a different way was probably the best thing about uh, my internship. So as a bride that comes to the Fetfully website, um, where I'm going with this is the first mm -hmm. step that you took was you have provided a pathway to lead them down this like what do you call it a quiz like a fun little quiz yeah that it's a was fun inspired quiz. right by mm -hmm. like all that like personality and psychology stuff so if I'm like a new bride and I'm, I stumble upon fetfully like take us through the process of like what happens? Okay, so you stumble upon Fifthly and you take a style quiz and it is segmented based on those personalities and it's really inspired by True Colors because wedding planning is personal. And even though it's all online, we didn't want to really lose that connection and that interaction with people. So there's the face-to-face -face component and things like that. But we wanted to make sure that couples were being matched with someone who wasn't going to annoy them who wasn't going to get on their nerves and someone who could help them get the best out of their um, experience. And so as an orange bride myself, who I would be, I'm not getting married. I'm not a bride, but as an <laughs> orange person, um, I would need to be matched with someone who can kind of reel me in and say, okay, Gigi, let's focus on this. And so um, that quiz is really designed to do that for you. And so, you know, okay, my planner with Fifthly is going to be someone who understands me. It's going to be someone who could, use their skills and their experience to really bring me the best uh, wedding and the best birthday party or whatever it is that you're coming to plan. They can really bring this to life based on their personality and mine. That's awesome. And so would you say that um, like after the quiz, then how does it work? Like it, are they sent three people based on their zip code or their city? Like how do they sign up and then – um, make payment and they're emailed a person like how do the algorithms work in the background just so planners and designers that mm -hmm. may be thinking about getting on the platform and by the way guys this is completely free 100% for planners and designers to offer their services and for people who value that but again they may not have tens and thousands of dollars but you can guide them through that process 
And so what would you say, how, how are those matches made? In other words, so once you, once the couple has finished their quiz, they are sent their top three planners. And so it's not really based on zip code because that's the fun part of the internet. You can really connect with yep. whoever you want to connect with anywhere. So you may be a green bride and match with someone in California and Los Angeles and you're like oh my gosh I love this planner I love her work but I am in Arkansas you know what you can plan with her because that's how cool technology works that's how fast technology works and that's the benefit there so you're sent your top three matches no matter where they are but another part of it is a plan on kind of like social media and Instagram and Pinterest where couples are seeing all of these planners let's say a couple follows Angela on Instagram and they have just fallen in love with her work. You know what? You can go uh, to Thefily and you can take your quiz and you can be matched with Betty, Sue, and Jim anywhere they are. But if you say, you know what? I really want to plan with Angela. You can do that. Um, It's still up to the couple to choose who they want to plan with. So we may match you with someone who we feel may be the best for your personality and really work for you. But if you've fallen in love with someone's work and just fallen in love with someone through technology, no matter where they are, you can choose who you want to plan with. That's awesome. And I, I mean, another question I have is like, I would I would say what what is the most unique about this service but I don't really know of anyone in our industry in the world and I feel like I'm qualified to say that because I travel all over the place and teach technology and teach about true colors and personality um profiling and I don't feel like anyone else is doing this so I mean I feel like that's the most unique. I mean, what, do you agree? I agree. It's it's very unique. We are kind of like the only ones doing it. And I will admit for planners and for couples, I know it's probably scary and you're like, this is new. Usually we just connect with vendors and maybe they get to pick me and we don't do online, but that's where the world is going. And someone has to kind of step out there and take the leap. And so it's really just asking planners and couples to take that leap with us because it's really where people are going. It's what couples are needing. And it's just an awesome opportunity. And the market is asking for it. You have so many different industries who are stepping into this space. You have Uber and Airbnb. And even in interior design, you have Laurel and Wolf and Havenly and all of these companies who are kind of transforming their industries and asking uh, designers and drivers and hosts to go with them. And so Fetfully now is just asking planners to take that leap with us so we can um, we can provide that for our people and let them know we care about you too. We're going to find a way to connect with you. We're going to find a way to help you no matter where you are. So that's the unique part about it is really just kind of taking the leap and being the first to say, we want to create a new way to plan. We want to create a new way to help planners grow their businesses. And we want to create a new way for brides and grooms and couples all over the world to have the wedding of their dreams. That's amazing. So after I take the quiz and after I'm matched, just so our audience understands clearly like how the process works, the bride or the couple, the client, it doesn't always have to be just a bride. Um, we do a lot of uh, gay weddings, yes. and um, there's going to be some planners and designers who completely embrace that, and mm-hmm. then there might be some that don't want to do that. It, I mean, my view on it is like, shit, whatever makes you happy, <laughs> as long mm-hmm. as you're happy. Um, but anyway, that's another conversation. So I feel like, okay, so then the brides, that what happens? Like they purchase a certain amount of time and the consultant is more like the designer, the planner, they're a consultant through the process. And then do they get a template so that there's a timeline? And because as a consultant, you know, if, if the bride's in Arkansas and I'm in California, you know, I'm not going to be there to execute. Right. So talk me through 
that a little bit. So how it's broken down, because there are different personalities and there are people who have different needs, is there are different service offerings for you. So your planner may be a designer and someone like you who, oh, I can help you with linens and floors and I can make it look pretty and I can design the day of your dreams. You can have that on Fitfully. And so there are templates built out because, again, the goal was it for, to be productive for planners. We didn't want a planner to join the site and be working with a couple for 24 hours. And they're like, oh my gosh, I spent my entire life on this one wedding online. That's crazy. So we didn't want that. Everything is built out into templates. And so you spend maybe like an hour or two with this couple video chatting with them. And then behind the scenes, only a few, only an hour, or maybe a few minutes of work to really pull their vision together for them. And so that's the um, kind of the model for each uh, service offering. But there's the styling where you work with the designer to make your wedding pretty. But then there's also for the orange people like me who know um, exactly what they want their wedding to look like, but I'm not going to send you all of these emails. There are the vendor managers. So there are people who can send those emails to your vendors and come up with a vendor timeline for you and look over your contracts that people like me will ignore the fine print on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there, there's that and then there's also kind of the bride who did do the DIY she made all of her invitations she made all of her centerpieces she did everything but now it's kind of crunch time and she's like oh you mean I can't set up my reception and get my makeup done at the same time <laughs> no you can't so there people on there who can build out that timeline for you and let you know exactly what's going to be done while you relax and just focus on getting married and having a great day and being in love. So there are different offerings for all of those different needs. Um, We kind of just thought through the entire planning process and what will you need at this stage and then at this stage and really broke it down into a way where um, it can be done online. Uh, The scary part is a lot of people are like, how can you plan a wedding online only? But it's the same way you do it in person. You just (laughs) use those tools that are available to you. It's really simple. It's really easy. And it's just uh, scaling it in a way where everyone can do it and everyone can use it because there are people out here using these tools. It's just a matter of bringing it together to tie the whole process together. And so there are those different packages and you can choose if you want only someone to help style your wedding or if you only want someone to help you build your timeline, but you also can have someone do it all for you. That's awesome. I mean, wouldn't you say that at least in my experience of going on 16 years now, it's more about the planning through the process. And then the wedding weekend is actually smooth and it should be easy, but nothing is easy Mm -hmm. if you don't plan. And so my favorite is when brides are like, oh, I just want a day of planner. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, well, let's back up. And I just want to educate you. Um, That doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And planners are successful because they actually plan. And in order to be your eyes and ears on the wedding day to actually execute for you, there has to be a timeline and that is planning and that is time. And the more you plan up front, again, the wedding weekend should be smooth. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course you're going to have things come up. Like we, I think I'm, I'm pretty much like convinced I'm such a control freak. Like I can control anything but the weather. Um, And so having a backup plan for like outdoor weddings and things like that, like as a consultant, even over the internet, you should be able to go to that person and say like, what are your top three stressors? Right. And if you're having an outdoor wedding and you're stressed about the weather, maybe you should like not have an outdoor wedding. Mm-hmm. And that's a cool thing that you said. There's also each couple gets the event aspiration. I don't know if you were leading me there, but yep. each, um, each couple gets the event aspiration plan. So you kind of let us know what are your top three things? What are yep. you stressing about? And so your planner will think through those things based on your location. And the crazy thing with technology, 
technology. There are so many apps that tell you what time the sun is going to set, what time it's going to rain. And we all have access to those things. So you may be in Los Angeles and your planner may be me in Texas. I can tell you if it's going to happen to rain in LA today, which it does sometimes. And so we can plan for those things. And so you let us know kind of what's stressing you out. So in addition to designing your wedding and things like that, we also do the troubleshooting for you. So we build out that aspiration plan with those stresses on there. So uh, you can think through those moments and we can think through those moments for you and make sure that there is a plan in place for you if those things were to happen. That's awesome. I mean, I know it's a fairly new platform, but have you had the opportunity to get any client feedback or what you think that potential users, like what's the number one thing that they're just going to love? The number one thing that they, well, so far the feedback has been awesome from mainly brides. Um, I have one groom um, who was just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing because my fiance is driving me crazy. <laughs> um the feedback has been amazing because, again, people want it. People are waiting for it. And it's been, why aren't you doing it, planners? Why is it? Why doesn't it exist? And so now it exists. And so I think the thing that's going to be amazing is kind of the next step that we're working on is getting uh, connected with the venues. And so, so many people get confused with a venue coordinator and a wedding planner. So they feel like, okay, I have this venue and I have my tables, my chairs, my linens, and I have a venue coordinator, so I don't need a planner at all. It's like, "Eh, there are a venue coordinator. They're there to make sure the building doesn't blow up, not to make sure you get down the aisle on time. So the thing that's going to be really exciting is to partner with those venues and build out those timelines and make sure that the vendors are on time because your venue coordinator is not making sure those things happen. If they have to choose between putting out a fire in the kitchen and making sure your mother-in-law is okay, uh, they're going to put the fire out in the kitchen. And so you want to make sure you have your vendors and your helpers and everyone in place and in order so that way you can be okay and you can be smooth. So I think that's going to be the next um, exciting thing is, um, building a connection and a partnership with those venues. And then also making sure they're trained appropriately on the execution piece, but then also making sure that the client to be is educated because so many times it's like they think that I am going to be hanging out with them all day, getting their makeup and nails and hair. I'm like, listen, I'm not your friend. Like you're hiring me as a creative designer to make sure that your party looks flipping amazing. Right. And that's why people come to me specifically. However, if you don't have an amazing mother or maid of honor or matron of honor, if you want a personal attendant, that's something that we offer now. And Mm -hmm. if they decline it and they don't want to pay for it, but then they're like, where were you all day? But if you don't address those concerns then they just may think that you're hanging out uh, doing nothing, which is, this is hard work, people. Like, this is not, people are like, oh my God, it's so fun. You're like J-Lo. And I'm like, oh my God, (laughs) it's like birthing a freaking child. Every weekend. Every weekend. Every weekend. (laughs) But it's the most rewarding thing ever. It is. What would you say is like right now the biggest challenge that you're facing with this industry? I think the biggest challenge is just educating people on what the platform is Mm -hmm. because it is new. It is um, kind of the first thing like this. It's like, oh, I don't really get it. And so it's figuring out how to communicate it different ways and to different people. And so I'm actually um, at Startup Week this week. And so I've had to do it to a thousand people. And so I'm just learning I can say to me, it makes so much sense. Like in my head, it makes so much sense, but it's just communicating it to people to where they get it because this is new and weddings are special and they are important. And so it's scary and people don't really get it. But again, people aren't really educated on what wedding planners do. So on top of educating them on what the platform does, I also find myself educating them on what wedding planners do. And so that's the most challenging part. And then also letting planners know that we're not devaluing you. We 
the platform is here to show how valuable you are. And so just letting planners know just because you're on the platform will never take away business for you. It's not meant to take away those couples who are coming to you because the couples who want wedding planners, they're going to get them whether that fully exists or not. But there are people out there who are hurting, who are sad, who are stressed out, who still need you. And so um, it's communicating that that's what this platform is for those individuals, not the couples who are going to book with you and who've been following you for months and have their checks ready to send to your mailbox. It's those people who are crying because they can't use you. So um, those have been the most challenging things. Gotcha. So if I'm a planner or a designer, what do I do to sign up to be part of the Fetfully platform? You go to www.fetfully.com and it's F-E-T-E-F-U-L-L-Y.com. And we have a um, our planners page and then you scroll down and you say join Fetfully and you send your information over to us and we ask for your portfolio and things like that. You'll see all of that on the website. But then we do, um, it's, it is for um, like professional planners. And so we do do like a small brief interview with you and kind of get to know you. And again, it is personal. So I've talked to all of the planners on the platform and I've really built uh, a connection with them. It's, um, it's personal for the planners too. I learn their stories. I get to know them. I get to know what's hurting their business. Um, so that way we can help grow your business. Uh, each business is unique, just like each couple is unique. And um, in addition to helping couples, we want to help businesses too. So I've had phone calls where we're on the phone for hours crying and going over <laughs> payroll and how do I pay this person from calls to where it's like, Gigi, can you come help me do this wedding? And can you, so it's really personal. We really want to be um, a big platform, but a small platform at the same time, a, a safe place for planners and a safe place for couples to know that um, we're here to build you up and achieve your goals right there with you. I love that. So we can't help you uh, reach your goals if we don't know them. So we take the time to really get to know you and know what's hurting you so we can know how we can help. So really, I kind of see it as fetfully having, you know, two different audiences. Like you really are servicing the couples and the and the brides out there getting married. But then from a business aspect, if you're a planner or a designer, you are building that community where we can help each other with business. Yes. Community over competition, always. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Last night, there was like the state of um, entrepreneurship panel, and he said something that really stuck with me and was really kind of on my heart when this company was built. It was all of us working together um, to make sure that everyone's goals are achieved and getting things done no matter who gets the credit. And that's really... um, what matters to me. And you'll notice that I'm not on a lot of like fetfully things. My pictures, my name isn't out there because it's really about the planners. And so it's really us putting the work in. So all of the planners everywhere can succeed. I hate yeah. to hear stories of planners who've had to stop working and close uh, their businesses and close their doors because they're not bringing in money and they're not being right. productive. I really wanted to really be a place where everyone can grow I have big dreams for what it can do for planners businesses in the future. <laughs> that's awesome. It, well, and that's something that you and I have talked about, like creating like an annual boot camp or symposium mm-hmm. or conference or summit or something where the creative industry and doing like workshops every month. How do you make money? How do you do this? And, yeah. And really just being that forum, that safe place for planners to come and vent. Because we all understand the problems that we go through. Our problems are not, we're all going through the same things. We're all planners. We're all seeing the same people. So um, that's our goal. Absolutely. And and again, I love that you have the, the two different audiences. And so we'll put all of this awesome information in the show notes. And we'll put the website and where if you're a bride or a couple, they can go and take their fun quiz. And if mm-hmm. you are a planner designer to sign up, it's completely free. Um, and you were saying this week is launch week? Oh, no. This week is startup week. We startup launched like week. a week ago. And we have um, 
some couples on there waiting for you all. So sign up planners because we have people waiting for you. So yeah, we're excited. We're at startup week and we have a lot of people um, excited, a lot of venues who are waiting for us to get into their doors next week. So planners, we are waiting for you too. Awesome. Well, Gigi, thank you so much for your time and thank you for sharing you. your story with us and I will say Gigi's been working on this for years and this platform is going to disrupt the industry in a great way. It's not going anywhere. Um, I mean, you've been working on it for a long time, so it's not like she rolled out of bed and just came up with this. Like the girl's done her homework and she has a wonderful advisory board with great leaders in the wedding industry. And I'm just so proud of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks again for being on Weddings Unveiled. And be sure to comment below, send us your questions, or if you have any feedback, have a great day. Bye. You've been listening to Weddings Unveiled with Angela Profit. Join us next time for more insights to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. For more great resources, head over to AngelaProfit.com.